How about them cowboys? The second easy schedule in the NFL, their opponents have a combined 461 win percentage. Uh, okay, looking at the news, uh, Bill Belichick uh, basically making guys work hard in Alejandro Villanueva has an influential, uh, whatever I want to call it, uh, message for Memorial Day. Either way, week one of the preseason for Washington, they're versus the Panthers, 1 o'clock on uh, 1 o'clock. We do the preseason another Saturday. They're all on Saturday at Kansas City at four o'clock, and they're at Baltimore at four o'clock. That close of the preseason. Oh yeah, like subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy. Starting off week one though, they're in Jacksonville. At, um, they're home against Jacksonville one o'clock on Fox. Game they'll absolutely win. Week two in Detroit one o'clock on Fox. That'll be a tough game. I still think they'll be able to win it. Week three at home versus Philadelphia one o'clock on Fox. Another game they can win. So the first three games of the season for Washington. Washington's a mid team, like basically an average team. They've got some good games they can win. They can definitely start off 3-0. Will they start off 3-0? Probably not. They'll probably be 2-1 and one or 1-2. One At Dallas before 1 o'clock on Fox. NFL on Fox. Double header game 1 or just NFL on Fox? Don't check. I think it's NFL on Fox. That's probably NFL on Fox. So they're probably their first national game. They got a lot to prove. I think they're going to want to prove it. So I doubt they're going to win. They almost won last year. 27-20 was the final. It was kind of a blowout. Then it got close. But still, week five, they're, in t they're home against Tennessee. One o'clock on CBS. So a good game. A game they definitely can win. A game that'll be tough, though. At Chicago, week six on Thursday night football. That'll be a bad game. I'm saying it's going to be like 17-10 to 10 Washington or something. So overall, through six weeks, I think they're going to be like 3-3. Three and 3-3 three. Three and three or... Um, four and two. No joke. I actually think they'll be they'll be at least five hundred through four weeks. I mean six weeks. They could be two and four. That's definitely a possibility too, because they could lose these four games here. But also they're gonna win one of those because they're not that bad, and their defense will bounce back. Week seven versus the uh, uh, Packers on Fox. One o'clock on Fox. Is that the national game? Yeah, and on Fox doubleheader game one. That's they're playing the Packers. So another national game. Game they're gonna want to win. So that's good. Then week 8, 425 on Fox at ND. Carson Wentz's return. That's an interesting game. So two interesting games back to back. See what happens. Week 9, they're versus Minnesota. 1 o'clock on Fox. going to be a tough game. So after that Chicago Thursday night game, they got a national game. Then they got a 425 game. Then they got, an, they got another game on Fox at 1 o'clock. So these four weeks, these three weeks, they're not going to be easy. Then they're in Philadelphia on Monday Night Football on week 10. That's not going to be an easy game. They could barely... Very easily lose all those four games. Will they? No, they're going to win one of them. Probably they're going to either beat Minnesota or Indy. Week 11, they're at Houston. One o'clock on Fox, excuse me. But that game, game they absolutely should win. And they should definitely beat the uh, Falcons. One o'clock on Fox. They should beat the Giants. One o'clock on Fox as well. So, this is a roller coaster schedule. Easy, easy, easy. Difficult. Easy. Hard. Easy. Very inconsistent schedule. But like I said, they have a second easy schedule in the NFL. Week 15, this could be the NFL Network triple header. Probably not, though. They're versus the Giants. Week 16, at San Francisco, 405 on CBS. Week uh, 17, they're um, versus the Browns at 1 o'clock on Fox. So that's a big game. Then week 18, they're at home versus Dallas. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is a, there's, They're in Dallas for this one, so they're probably not going to win it. They have two primetime games. Overall, I think the Commanders are an underrated team. Do I think they're that great? No, I just think their defense will be decent. They overall, they've got a pretty um, roller coaster of a schedule. They've got a cupcake week 14 is their bye week, but they have a cupcake schedule right here. They've got a, um, a pretty uh, hard stretch right here. Only one road game, so they probably are two road games here too. So they should win a couple of those. They're at home versus Green Bay, so that might help. Um, they've got a tough stretch here at the open the season, but overall, I think they've got a pretty easy schedule. The Cowboys have the easiest schedule in the NFL out of 461 win percentage for their opponents. Okay, for these boys, they're at Denver, 9 o'clock on Saturday, first week of the preseason. Week 2 of the preseason, they're at the Chargers, 10 o'clock. Week 3 of the preseason, Friday, uh, um, first Seattle at 8 o'clock. Then when we look at their actual schedule, Sunday Night Football to start the season versus Tampa Bay. They have five primetime games as usual. They've got the NFL on th uh, this year, NFL on Thanksgiving, uh, NFL on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day Football on Fox for Week 12, and yeah, that's about their schedule for national games. They're national TV every week. 
Week one, though, like I said, Sunday Night Football, interesting start of the season. Probably going to be like last year, they lose week one to Tampa Bay. They bounce back with a week two win. NFL and CBS double honor game two. Week three, Monday Night Football versus the Giants. Another game they should absolutely win. I'd be surprised if they lost that. Week four, NFL and Fox double honor game one. All right, NFL and Fox versus uh, the Commanders, 1 o'clock on Fox. We're going to kind of talk about this. This should be a good game. I still think they're going to win it. Week five, America's game of the week at the Rams, 4 o'clock on Fox. Tough game. They're probably going to lose that. Let's say they're. 3 and 1 here. They could definitely win this though. I'll tell you that. So the 3 and 2 are 4 and 1 here. Week 6 Sunday night football at Philly. They're not going to lose this game. Uh they're going to win that. I don't think they're going to be Philadelphia at home though later in the season. They could lose this definitely, but I don't think they're going to lose this early in the season. Either coming off a loss with a chip on their shoulder at 3 and 2 or caught coming in red hot. Week 7 versus Detroit 1 o'clock on CBS. Meh. Is that even a national game? I honestly think that might not be a national game. Yeah, it's another game. NFL on CBS, so there's an NFL on CBS. Week 8, though, the versus Chicago, 1 o'clock on Fox. Is that national? Yeah, it is. NFL on Fox, double hunter game 1. Versus the uh, Bears, 1 o'clock on Fox. Week 9 is their bye. Week 10, Akron Van, America's game of the week. I don't really need to talk about this one. This will be a great game. They're still going to lose. At Minnesota, 425 on CBS. This is probably going to be their only game that won't be on national television. Because no one wants to watch the Cowboys every week on national television. That's why. But, they play Minnesota, so looking at it, through four weeks, they should be 3-1. and one. Their next four weeks, they should be 4-1, and one, I guess, going into week 9. They're going to be like 6-2 and two or 7 or 5-3. and three. Then, these games, they're probably going to be like, wor best case, they're 8-4. and four. Worst case, they're 7-5. and five. I'll be honest with you. Because if they're 7-5, and five, they go 2-2 two and two here. Best case, they're 8-4, because they're going to still go 2-2 two two here. I don't think they're beating Green Bay. They're probably going to beat Minnesota. They're, they're going to crush the Giants on Thanksgiving. I don't think they're beating Indianapolis on Sunday Night Football. Week 14 versus Houston. Week 15 at Jacksonville. I don't think either of those games are on national television. Either, thank gosh. Two cupcake games. Week 16 versus uh, Eagles in America's Game of the Week. <coughs> uh, that game is uh, on, uh, what is it called, Christmas Eve. Uh, a lot of people are going to be watching that. I think the Eagles are going to win that. That's just my opinion. They're going to clobber the Titans on Thursday Night Football, though, or the Titans are going to win that. I just think they're going to beat the Titans there. Week 18 at, what, well, Commanders. So, overall, they have a really easy schedule, I'll be honest with you. They have so many easy games. Let's see. One, two, three, because they always beat Philadelphia clobber them once. Four. Five, six, because they don't lose to uh, Minnesota on the road. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. Let's see. They have ten easy games on their schedule out of the 17. They, it's ridiculous. They're going to win like 12 games just because their schedule is bad. No offense to the Cowboys. I don't think their roster is that great. I don't think they're uh, that great of a team. They're a good team. They're just not that great. But their schedule is easy in the NFL. Obviously, they have the best schedule in this division. I'll just put that out there. The Eagles are the fourth, third hardest schedule in the NFL. Out of their opponents at a 4.63 win percentage. The Eagles open their preseason on Friday at 7:30 versus the Jets. Then they have two away games sat Sunday at 1 o'clock at in Cleveland, and then in uh, Miami at s Saturday week three of the preseason at um, 7 o'clock. That's your uh, Eagles 2022 NFL preseason schedule. Either way, week one at Detroit, 1 o'clock on Fox. This game is probably going to be the NFL on Fox, if y'all really think about it, actually. It's either going to be that, or it's going to be, um, 49ers at Bears. You know, it's probably going to be Eagles at Lions when I think about it now, but either way. Uh, that game's going to be a good one. I think they're going to win it, though. Week 2, um, um, Monday Night Football, what did I call it? I forgot what I called it. Um, Monday Night Football, special doubleheader game 2, Vikings, uh, they're at home versus the Vikings, 8.30 on ABC. So, that's going to be a good game. They could definitely start out 0-2. Probably not, though. They'll be 1-1 one one or 2 and all. Week 3, they're out. The Commanders, 1 o'clock on Fox. That'll be a good game. Then, week 4, they're versus the Jags, 1 o'clock on CBS. So, those are two games they definitely can win. Week 5, they're in Arizona, 4-25 oh, on Fox. That'll be a tough game. Week 6, Sunday Night Football versus the Cowboys. That game's going to be a joke. It's just going to be a bad game. Week 7, they're by early by week. Week 8 versus Steelers, 1 o'clock on CBS. That game... Is um not a doubleheader game, is it? 
Yeah, never mind. It's Edible on TV. Yeah. So that came to national TV. If you didn't know, they had one, two, three, four, five prime name games as usual. They have, let's see. How many actually? And they got a national game here. Then they're at Houston Krabby Thursday night game. Week 10, Monday Night Football versus Commanders. We talk about this. It's a game they'll definitely win. Week 11, at the Colts, 1 o'clock on TBS. That'll be a good game. Uh, week 12 versus the Packers on Sunday Night Football. That game's going to be tough. I think they'll be able to win it, though. Week 13 versus the Titans, 1 o'clock on Fox. It'll be a tough game. Week 14 at the Giants, 1 o'clock on Fox. An easy game. Then another game, easy game, but it could be hard at Chicago, 1 o'clock on Fox. We really don't know for those games because it really does seem that the Bears play the Eagles well, usually. Week 16 at the uh, Cowboys on America's Game of the Week. Week 17, they're versus the Saints. The vs. Saints, and yeah, that's the NFL on Fox, so that's a game they're definitely going to need to win. Week 18, the vs. the Giants end the season. Overall, I think it's a balanced schedule. First two weeks aren't anything crazy. Next two weeks are cupcakes, mostly. Next two are harder, easy, more easy, tough stretch, easy, tougher stretch, and then an easy game. So, they've got a pretty balanced schedule. I don't think it's as easy as the Cowboys by any means, but it's pretty easy. The Giants have the fourth easiest schedule in the NFL on a 465 win percentage for their opponents. Giants preseason, they open up week one of the preseason at New England at 5 o'clock. Then they're at home versus the Bengals at 7 o'clock on Sunday. Week three of the preseason, Sunday one at New York at 1 o'clock. Then we look at their actual schedule. It's rough to start the season. I'm joking. It's not that bad. At the Titans, 425 on Fox. That's where they're going to lose that. They lost it last year. At 425, then they'll lose it again. Versus the Panthers, 1 o'clock on Fox. They'll probably bounce back. Then they're going to get destroyed on Monday Night Football. At home versus the Cowboys. Then they're going to beat Chicago, 1 o'clock on Fox. Then they're going to lose to the um, Packers in London. That game, 930 on NFL Network. Week 6, 1 o'clock on CBS versus the um, Raven, Ravens. will probably get clobbered. So they're like 2-2, two and two, and then they're like 2-4. and four. Then they'll probably play good with Jacksonville. That'll be a decent game. Then they're... So they're at Jacksonville 1 o'clock on Fox, and they're at Seattle 1 o'clock on Fox. Both those games will be decent. They'll probably win them, though. Versus Houston at 1 o'clock on TBS, and versus um, Detroit 1 o'clock on Fox. They'll win one of these games. They'll maybe even go two. So look at that. They'll be 2-2 two and two for two, four weeks, most likely. They could even beat Tennessee, for all I know. But then they're 2-4 and because they're not going to win these games. Who knows? Maybe they beat Baltimore, but probably not. Then they are, like, 4-4. Four and four. So, yeah, they're 4-4 four and four through night, and then we going into week at 10. They'll win one of these games, so they're realistically they're f actually five and five or four and six going into Thanksgiving, where they're gonna get destroyed. Then they're gonna lose, then they're gonna lose again. Um, they're gonna lose on Thanksgiving to Dallas. They're not bad morale. One o'clock on Fox, one o'clock on Fox versus Commanders and versus Eagles. They're gonna lose both of these games, so they're from like five and five. Um, after week fourteen, they're five and eight or four and nine. They're going to beat Washington once this year, I think. This could be on the triple header at Washington. Then they're at Minnesota 1 o'clock on Fox. They're going to, they're honestly either going to win that game and surprise people, or it's they're going to, um, because the Vikings are going to blow it, or they're actually going to win, because they're, like, not terrible. And, yeah, that is the NFL on Fox double header game, if you didn't know, so that'll be on national TV. Then week 17, 1 o'clock on CBS versus Indy. They're going to lose that. Then they're at Philadelphia to close out the season. So looking at it, the Giants are going to look at, people are going to be like, go, the Giants are like 5-5 five and five or 4-6. Four and six. So basically, through week 14, they're either, let's say they're 4 or 9. They'll win, honestly, they'll probably win two of these games. I wouldn't be surprised. So if you ask me, they're either 6-11, 6-11, 5-12, maybe even 7-10. Best case, they're 7-10. Worst case, they're like 4-13 again, if they collapse. But trust me. They're not going to look good. Like, you're not going to want to watch the Giants week tw uh, 14 th uh, um, 12 through 14, which means the schedule isn't the greatest. But I still think, for them, it's not the worst schedule in this division. Okay, breaking the schedules. I think the G I think Cowboys are the best schedule. It's just the fact that it's an easy schedule, and they're going to win 12 games because of it. It's not going to be because they're a good team. It's just because they have an easy schedule. Washington, I like their schedule because... They, they, they have a chance to make the playoffs with this schedule, and it's just really balanced. It's a perfect schedule. Literally, you can put any team with that schedule, and they'll win a ton of games. Like, that's just the truth. For the Giants, the reason they have the third best schedule, it's not because it's the easiest schedule by any means in this division. All If you didn't know, these are the four easiest schedules in the NFL, if you didn't know. So, just so you know. It's kind of splitting hairs, too. But the Giants, they have a chance to make, like, they have a chance with this schedule to win some games. They have a chance, which is really saying something, because last year they didn't. Week... The last team I have, the Eagles. Here's why the Eagles. I don't like their schedule. It's pretty balanced, but 
they don't have some fun games in there. They don't have, like, an easy stretch. They have some easy games. They'll pick up wins, but it's also the fact I don't like their stretches. They have some hard stretches. Not only that, though, it's just not – you look at it and you're like, meh. It's not like a home run schedule. And they also have hard teams, which means you got to also think the Eagles are not the type of team that are going to be, like, a powerhouse. So they're going to lose those games against hard teams. They could lose a game, drop an easy game, too. They're not that type of team just yet. I haven't seen it yet. That's why they have the hardest – I think they have the hardest schedule in this division. Just because we don't know their trust yet. The Giants are going to collapse, but they have a chance. And same thing with Washington, but they won't collapse. The Cowboys, on the other hand, it's a, they got a cupcake schedule. That, they're my, there's my reasoning. Either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. we got the NFC North one coming up. But, see you in the next one. <laughs>